think the ag tech space is quite crowded and uh, for any folks who've gone to the international ag show in Tulare or some of the uh, you know ag expos there's a million different companies and it's really hard to differentiate from what adds value versus what's nice to have you know what are some cool fun features but really drives no value on the farm so i think we've really been through the school of hard knocks over the past five years um, you know we'll do a lot of testing and experimenting with new technology before we roll it out one to two years is pretty typical before we scale anything and we have full confidence in it um, that being said i think we've really narrowed the funnel to a few really effective um, tools number one i would say is hortal on the Hortau front, um, what I like about that is it actually measures root tension. You know, how hard is that plant pulling for water? And that's really soil agnostic. Some of the other tools you can use um, really require some calibrations per soil type, but measuring the root tension, it's like the heartbeat of the plant. How much water is this plant asking for right now? And we give it exactly what it needs. We don't overwater, we don't underwater. Um, so it's certainly managing a precious resource like water better, but we're also seeing really positive results um, in yield and plant health. The other tool we use uh, quite frequently would be Semios. Um, I would also view that as one of the legs to the stool on water management. Uh, we have infield weather stations through Semios uh, that helps us really measure in orchard ET rates versus using like a, you know, adjacent SIMA station. Uh, as a lot of you know, in agriculture, we have microclimates all throughout the valley. And if you're relying on a weather station, the SIMA station 10 miles away, you can get some false readings. So uh, we have weather stations through Simios that helps us measure in orchard water usage, water forecasting. And then we really dial it in with uh, the Hortau to triangulate on the best irrigation program. The other one we use, uh, which I'm excited about, is Bee Hero from a pollination perspective, quite different than the other two I just described. Um, but, you know, pollination is, is mission critical to getting good yields. And uh, we just haven't seen a lot of technology in that space until recently. Um, in particular, we like the transparency, getting really good visibility into the hives. Um, and we really like the quality control standards. So there's a hurdle threshold that beekeepers have to uphold in order to make it through the filtering process uh, of Bee Hero. So I think it's scaling well. Um, they're a, you know, a large company, they have a lot of hives, but we also like being connected to the hives and being connected to what's happening in the field versus, you know, fingers crossed that my hives are performing well.